Hello everyone, Simicraft here, and welcome to Grammarian Limited, which is a uh, an indie game I happened across on Steam, came out very recently, and you know what, I thought it was a good fit for the channel just based on what I could see from the trailer and like. As I understand it, it's a game where you basically are in charge of like some sort of like, well basically you're a grammar Nazi, <laughs> is how I was able to gather. So, uh, seemed interesting. I'll be honest, while I do enjoy writing on occasion, and obviously I do a lot of writing for YouTube and stuff, I'm not necessarily the best when it comes to, you know, picture-perfect grammar, so hopefully this doesn't show me, show the world how terrible I am at that. Uh, <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, new game. Uh, okay, we can be the girl, or the boy, or the woman, or the man, or whatever. We'll, we'll be the dude. I'll be a dude. Uh, gnome? Sure. Why not? It's like we're... Tutorial? Yeah, I'd like a tutorial. Uh, I don't know how English works. Do you feel... Tense? Moody? Or irregular? Not sure that's... You must be a verb! Welcome to 2099, when everyone gets that joke. No one ever predicts that the elected president, Barakuma, has some unhealthy obsession with grammar! Now everything written must have perfect grammar. This includes books, emails, or even variables in a program. This leads to the birth of a grammar validation agencies. And the biggest of them all is... Grammar Grammarian LTD. I think that's short for limited. Well done. Sounds like a total dystopia. <laughs> Application number 99.99.99 is my lucky number. Let's hope this one works. We appreciate you taking the time to apply with our company. Unfortunately, we need more adequate grammar score. But I applied for a bird feeder position. For God's sake. Do you think I need to speak grammatically correct with a bird? Oh, well, I guess 100 is also my lucky number. Let's see application number 100. We are happy to inform you that you have been accepted to work as a janitor at Grammarian Limited. I got accepted! I am now going to be a quantum programmer working as a janitor for a company I hate the most. There are no words in this world to describe how much I despise you, Mr. President. Or maybe there are, and I just don't know them yet. But wait, this means... <laughs> Goodbye, Discount Ramen Noodles! Hello, Discounted Real Food! Oh wow, there's a life simulation aspect here? Seemingly? Did not expect that, I thought we'd just be grammar. Welcome, I'm Jax Hunter, CEO of Grammarian Limited. I'm so happy to welcome you on board. Well, uh, I'm honored, sir, to be greeted by the CEO personally. Well, of course, I make a habit of greeting every grammarian personally. You're our last line of defense against incompetence. Uh, great, yes, uh, hold on, what? First day jitters, don't worry, everyone gets them. This way to the validation offices. I'll tell your supervisor to go easy on you till you get the hang of the grammar validation system. Uh... I was only hired as a janitor, but, you know, promotion's a promotion. Uh, thank you, sir. I don't want my first day to be too tense. Ha! <laughs> ha! You're a funny chump! I like you. Well, let's get going. The mistakes aren't gonna correct themselves. <laughs> what is going on? Alright, kid, meet your mentor, Dalu. He'll answer any questions you might have. I know this is just insulting. Hi, aren't you a little young to be a grammarian? Aren't you a little dumb to be one? I see you're going to be the best of friends. Well, I have to go. Those casual cases aren't gonna fight themselves. <laughs> is is he always like that? Don't mind him. Your workload and a briefing are on your desk, so verify those documents by the end of the way the day. Briefing? I'll explain, so that your simple brain can keep up, is a guide on how to verify documents. 
Even a monkey could understand it. Now go and do what you're being paid to do. Rude. Well, let's get this over with. Oh god, what should I do? I need this job, but what if they find out I'm a fraud? I was at the bottom of my class when I graduated. I'm dead. Okay, calm down. Don't think about the consequences. Dear Grammar Gods, if you're somewhere out there, I need a miracle. Please? I knew there was something fishy about that newbie. Welcome to your first day at Grammarian Limited. This is your office right here. It is not much right now, but keep working for us and you might get a better one. This is your ID card. It is pretty important. Uh, stuff, if you ask me. It keeps track of your level and title within the company. It also holds all your money, so yes, it is probably best not to misplace it. In addition, I see you have a smartwatch. Nice, it will help you keep track of the time. It will also show how much stamina you have left. Everything you do costs stamina. Once it runs out, you will not be able to do anything. However, you can recharge your stamina by sleeping at home or consuming some items. The watch also tracks your mood, and your mood affects your stamina. The lower your mood is, the faster you will lose stamina. This is your brief. It contains all the information you need to do your job. It will also update with new content as you gain new levels. On top of the desk, you will find your work for the day. Open them to start working. To help you organize, put the documents that you have reviewed here. You do not have to, but it can help sometimes. Once you have done all your work, you can go home early by using this button. You can also go home at any time if you do not feel like working, but management is always watching, and it will be reflected in your salary. Okay, oh, time's just... Okay, we got nouns, okay? Um, so it's a part of speech, singular and plural nouns. Singular means only one, plural means more than one, a plural noun's basic convention is adding an S at the end of the word for the regular nouns, and ES for the irregulars. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got S to most nouns, so car becomes cars, pillow pillows, add ES to nouns that end in S, so bus becomes buses, bush becomes bushes, box becomes boxes, beach becomes beaches, or blitz becomes blitzes. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. For nouns that end in F or FE, they can either stay F, so chif chaff becomes chif chaffs, or changed into V, so bookshelf becomes bookshelves. For the latter case, always add ES. Yes, yes. For nouns that end in a vowel plus Y, simply add S to the plural. For example, highway becomes highways, alloy becomes alloys. For nouns that end in vowel plus O, simply add the S to the plural. For example, scenario becomes scenarios, Oreo becomes Oreos. For nouns that end in the consonant plus Y, change the Y to an I and add ES to the plural. For example, family becomes families, lovely becomes lovelies. Uh, for nouns that end in consonant plus O, the regular form usually adds ES, potatoes, tomatoes, heroes, except for musical terms, sopranos and pianos. <laughs> okay, for nouns of foreign origins, tacos, kimonos, proper nouns, Eskimos, Picassos, and that are short forms of longer words, photograph, so photos, memorandum, memos, kilogram, kilos, simply add S to the plural. Okay. George on my mind, eh? Um. I, okay. I mean, I guess we could probably reference this if we need to, but. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay, you have just opened your first document that needs to be reviewed. Act natural and do not mess it up. Each document has instructions on what you need to do. You can also click on the read brief button for more information. Once you understand the instructions, you can start working on the document. Please be careful not to choose randomly and rapidly, as too many wrong answers will decrease your mood. Okay, so I need the correct use of plural nouns. Okay, I'm sorry I had to call you from vacation after your last assignment. The case of the five flush. That should be... Okay, meh. However, the rash of tornadoes... That, that's wrong. Uh, it's tornadoes. There we go. That have swept the nearby beach. That should be beaches. Are alarming. People claim the. That, that's just wrong. It's stories of octopi. That's actually correct. In the tornadoes. Tornadoes. Okay. Are hoaxes. Oh. A reminder you just did a combo. Earn bonus money and mood by increasing your combo. So hoaxes. But I have received three expert analyses of the situation that suggest otherwise. I have dispatched a number of bus 
is to help evacuate the coastal sit. I don't think that cities. But I need you to investigate the matter. I believe enemy <laughs> spies <laughs> may be behind this. Uh, yeah, no, it's spies. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Um, great. So that is correct. You can go over there. Okay. Next. Find singular. Okay, we need singular nouns. I'd like to share some advice with you about your weight loss goals. If you exercise, you can get healthier. However, if you overdo it, you can get hurt. It is good to find a balance for fitness and nutrition. If you reduce your... Oh, and I just need fit... So I need to click on all the singular nouns. Is that correct? I want to share some advice. Advice is a singular noun, yeah? Okay, great. With you about your weight loss. That might be goals. That's a plural noun. If you exercise, that's a verb. You can get healthier. However, if you overdo it, you can get hurt. Okay, balance for fitness and nutrition. If you reduce your calories, you can lose weight. It's even more important, though, what you put into your body. If you eat healthy food in moderation. Is moderation a noun? We'll come back to that. You'll feel better if you eat the wrong types of food. Even in moderation, you may not feel well. I hope you take this to heart. So we've got two more. It could be moderation. Um, uh, food in... Okay, hold on. Okay, it's moderation. Perfect. Okay. Next up. Okay, correct the nouns. Focus on the singular ones. I think it's time for raise? At work? Well, that, okay, that's clearly wrong. It's, I think it's time for raise. A raise at work. When I get a raise... <laughs> when I get a raise, I get happy. So when I get a ray, yeah, a raise, I get happy. Sure, that's weird, but you can keep it. When I get a raises, no. A raise, I work harder and feel like my bosses, uh, my boss appreciates me. If I don't get a, if I don't get a raise, I feel undervalued. I worked at another jobs, another job, and I quit when I asked for raise. A raise, only to be turned down. If an employer's, if an employer wants to keep a good employee's, a good employee, they need to reward them from times to time. Time to time. You need to get better grammar. Okay. Perfect. And work? Yeah. Clocking out of one. Why not? Congratulations, you have made it through your first day. Now let's see how you did. This is your performance score for the day. Here you can also see the breakdown of the score. If your score exceeds the passing grade, you will gain a level. Gain enough levels and you will eventually be promoted. Just like in a video game, you know? You can also review your work to see what you did right and wrong at the end of the day. Grammarian employees are encouraged to learn from their mistakes so that so they can make more money for the company in the future. Okay, I'd say we did pretty well there. 29 correct answers, 0 wrong answers, 0 missed, passing grade. I guess we'll carry on. Moods at maximum. Home sweet home, after a long day of work you can sit back and relax here. Use this button to browse the online shop where you can spend all your hard-earned money. Once you're done for the day, use this button to go to sleep. Resting will replenish your stamina and mood, but the amount restored will depend on your furniture. Reminder, you do don't you feel your apartment is so spacious? Spend your money to buy furnitures. Furnitures can help you recover your stamina and mood at the start of each day. I thought the player of furniture was furniture. 
Uh, I mean, it's a grammar game. I'm sure they're right. Trivia of the day. If you were to write out every number name in full, one, two, three, four, you wouldn't use a single letter B until you reached one billion. Huh. Interesting. Um, I guess we can go to the store. This is our online shop. The only one in this world. You can buy consumable items, furniture, and music here. You can even rent a new apartment. Just make sure you have enough money for the daily rents. How much money do we have? 1,000? And you could get a, a coffee pot. An acceptable coffee pot. It's on sale. Why not? Um, what's this? A TV box. Yeah, we'll purchase the stuff. We seem to be doing okay in money. For now. Yeah, furniture. Okay, this is music. Um, this is your bag. If you have any consumable items, this is where you will find them. But please do not take any of the company's properties home. Fair enough. Alright, I guess we'll, uh, get some sleep. Yep. Energy fully restored. Congratulations, you're about to go to work again. Exciting, isn't it? Choose your preferred method of transport. Transport will also affect your stamina and mood, so choose what is best for your current situation. Okay, so we can power walk, which reduces stamina and mood, and we'll arrive at 1 p.m. Uh, a rental bike will t be 15 less stamina and more mood, but it costs money. Okay, and a bus, so I guess we did pretty well last time. I th let's try a power walk. I think we can take that. Okay, new brief. Uh, regular nouns. Regular nouns form plurals in unusual ways. The following nouns have irregular plural forms. So a child becomes two children. A foot becomes two feet. A tooth becomes two teeth. A woman becomes two women. Some nouns retain their original form, whether they are singular or plural. For example, fish, sheep, deer, moose, swine, buffalo, shrimp, and trout. Nouns for words of Latin and Greek origins follow the English rules by adding S or ES. For example, indexes, curriculums, octu... Pusses. What? However, it is only acceptable for certain nouns. For others, there are conventions. For others, there are conventions that must be followed? Conventions, I believe! H how are you going to give me a grammar game and then I'm correcting your grammar? See the following as an example. So, amoeba becomes amoebae, antenna becomes antennae, uh, al alumna becomes alumni. Uh, alumnus becomes alumni. Cactus becomes cacti. So A becomes A. Us becomes I. Is becomes S. On becomes A. Or A. Uh. IE becomes CE. So die to dice. IX becomes. Uh, so indexes, vortexes, vortices, indices. Datum becomes data. Alright. Uh, I had no idea datum was the singular form of data. To make sure whether certain plural nouns are irregular or regular, you can check your dictionary. There are also some nouns that do not have singular form at all, and only go with plural forms. For example, binoculars, plant, pants, scissors, glasses, and tweezers. Okay. Let's see. Alumnus, alumni, cactus, cacti, fungus, fungi, nucleus, nuclei, octopus, octopi, analysis, analyses, axis, axes. Diagnosis, diagnoses, hypothesis, hypotheses, parenthesis, parentheses, criterion, criteria, phenomenon, phenomena, dice, or die, dice, index, indices, vortex, vortices, datum, data, memorandum, memoranda, bacterium, bacteria, stratum, strata, curriculum, curricula. Okay. Most of those are words I just remember anyway, so hopefully we'll be fine. Correct the ir irregular nouns. Okay, the medias... No, it's just the media. Had a field day with Mr. Sellers. F funguses? Fungi. Feast. And the ensuing series of unfortunate events. Trademark. To avoid any more complaints, I have an idea for your next field trip. There is a local lake where the children's... Nope, it's just children. Can go fishing. 
The lake is stocked with large amounts of <laughs> salmons. No, it's just salmon. Pikes or pikesies? No, I think I guess it's just pike. Trouts? That's just trouts. They're fish. Fish are always single and prone of the same. And other fishes. Fish. What do you think this is? The Bible. Uh, I hear. I heard there is also a forest where the men and women. From the park, rangers can show them wildlife such as buffalo and bison. Perfect. Next up, kindergarten field trip. Miss Higgins, nurse kitchen. Correct the irregular nouns. I have some bad news about the field trip with my kindergarten children. The children? Uh, question. How are you allowed to teach children when you have such a terrible grasp of children? Anyways, we're playing in the leaves? When Mr. Sellers wandered into the forest and apparently ate some fungi, suddenly he said he saw a tiny blue it's people, not peoples, with bare feet. Feet? This woman needs to be fired. This is a travesty. Oddly enough, he said they were all men, except for one blonde woman. Do you have any idea what to do about this problem? Now he's saying he's seeing, I think that's elves? Making cookie, what? Cookies, okay, perfect. The shopping trip, sister woman, big mama. Correct the original notes. The shopping trip did not go well, as all the store shelves were empty. I looked all over for the seafood. Nope, it's just seafood. And all I could find were four... What even is this supposed to be? Cod, okay. <laughs> as far as bread, there were no loaves to be found. This party is so important to our two family... No, it should be families. And I feel awful. My purse was stolen too by two thieves when I saw four pennies on the floor. Perfect. Alright. I'm out. All I need is three hours for work. I I'm the best uh, corrector they've had. Perfect. Let's continue. Mood increased by two. Wonderful. Hey, hey, how's my favorite sibling doing? I brought you some cake. Ella, I'm your only sibling. And what's the cake for? Did something happen? Yes, good news, incredible even. I got an internship at the president's office. Oh, wow, congratulations. That was quick. You're barely out of school and already meeting the presidents. This is the best day ever. Finally, I get to meet my hero. What is my sister, like a total grammar freak? If you think so. Gnome, he won the Nobel Prize twice, and his grammar enforcement decree has changed the world for the better. Not for everyone, though. You're one to talk. How's your job at Grammarian Limited? It's fine. Enough. Enough about me. Uh, let's enjoy the cake and celebrate your success. Here's to the best sister in the world. Alright, cheers. New item available. Magnifier. A hint, <laughs> Magnifier is now available and can be purchased from the shop. If you have enough inventory space, you'll get a free sample. Oh, new item available. Marta... Martabak? Martabak is now available and can be purchased from the shop. If you have enough inventory space, you'll get a free sample. What have we got the trivia? The dot of the little I is called a... Tittle? Good to know. Um... What's on sale? Yeah, I don't really want a consumable. Any- oh, we could buy an abstract painting. <laughs> Made by some four-year-old toddlers. Wonderful. Perfect. Okay, uh, time for sleep. I'd walk into work- well, Energy's starting to get depleted. Maybe a rental bike for today. Yeah. Yep. 
Maybe we should buy one. Okay, new brief. What's this? Compound nouns. Ooh, boy. A compound noun is formed when two or more words join to make a completely new word with different meaning. For example, a hot dog, or hot dog, a type of sausage typically eaten on a bun, is certainly not a dog. Combining these two words means something entirely different than the mere combination of the adjective hot and the noun dog, which would refer to an overheated canine. Read the difference below. The speciality of the vendor is in making a hot dog. The hot dog was finally treated to cool water by a passerby under the tree. The first sentence is used is hot dog as a compound word, but the second does not. The meaning is quite different in each sentence. There are three ways compound nouns are formed, in closed form, hyphenated form, and open form. Closed form happens by simply joining two words together, with no additional spaces or punctuation. For example, football, redhead, keyboard, notebook, waistcoat, bookstore, fireman, and makeup. Hyphenated form happens by connecting two or more words using hyphens. For example, father-in-law, six packs, six-year-olds, up-to-date, long-term. Open form happens by leaving the words as they are, separately, but through context, people understand them functionally together, as one. For example, living rooms, full moon, dinner table, tea set, coffee table. When a compound noun is a single word, make it plural by adding s to the end. If the compound noun is hyphenated or composed of two separate words, remember to add the s only to the word that is plural. One sister-in-law is two sisters-in-law. There are two sisters, not two laws. One director general is two directors general. There are two directors, not two generals. One mayor elect is two mayors elect. There are two mayors, not two elects. Although you could be a mayor elect if you were mayor elect to multiple cities, perhaps. Maybe. Okay, what's this? Find the compound nouns. Healthcare requirements petition. Ministry of Health. I've attached the petition for healthcare industry requirements. I hope this time it'll come through before the deadline. We got over 2,000 signatures of individuals all wanting to lower the entry level. What? Okay. Entry level requirements for... Oh, that's an adjective. For healthcare professionals. We have a shortage in this industry and we need as many people as we can get. It's absurd for a geriatric nurse to spend... To need a perfect grammar score. If this goes on, there is going to be a backlash. No one will be able to get care for the elderly and sick anymore. They can't even take a painkiller by them themselves. No, drat. Uh, please hear us out. Uh, there's one more here. Healthcare industry requirements coming through before 2,000 signatures. It's not goes on. Is it any more? No. I've attached the petition for healthcare industry requirements. I hope this time it'll come through before the deadline. We've got over 2,000 signatures of individuals all wanting to lower the entry-level requirements for health care professionals. We have a shortage. It's not a shortage, is it? Oh, it's a shortage. That just registers in my mind as just a word, not a compound of any kind. Okay. Find the compound nouns. The cowboy attacked me on the street and there was nobody... Watching, he tried to engage me in a rough house, and I knew this was no case of horseplay. I practiced my kickboxing to protect myself. He charged me again, and I body sl Oh, that's a verb. Body slammed him onto an automobile's sunroof. Now it was time to figure out where the masturbine Dr. Dreadful is hiding. Okay, that was... Okay. Uh, find all the compound nouns. I hear that you run a... Cut that's an adjective. A cutthroat kitchen, and I am impressed that you were brave enough to challenge me. To be honest, I think my dog could make a better pancake than you. You are a crackpot and are about to have a flashback to before you were a master. I accept your challenge and look forward to sweeping your reputation into a dustpan. Perfect. I okay, correct the way the compound nouns are written. I just disembarked from the airplane. At Coast City? Uh, International Airport. 
That's not how you spell it. It should be airports. I picked up the news, that should be one word, newspaper, and saw that the stories of the flying octopi are still being treated as hogwash. That could be a hyphen, but I think it's one word. Remind me never to go under, never to underestimate our superstars who work the media. If the taxes payers, what? No, no, it's taxpayers. Only knew what we do to protect them from bedtime. I think that's one word. Stress. Okay, so there's one more left. Uh, disembark? No. Superstars? Okay. Today was not as good a day as previously. Nothing wrong, but a couple false starts. Oh well. It's okay, I guess. Oh, I'm doing better than... Z oh, I'm the top scorer on this guy. Yeah, I, I did not have a good time on that one. Okay, uh, continue. New item now available. Pudding! Plus two mood. Pudding is now available. And can be purchased from the shop. If you have enough inventory space, you'll get a free sample. What is our fact of the day? Trivia? Bookkeeper is the only English word that has three consecutive double letters. Oh, wow. So it does. Interesting. I don't need a consumable. What do we have for furnishings? That's water. It's consumable. I guess I'll buy some, just in case. Um... Yeah, let's, uh, sleep. Why not? Gotta get a good night's rest.